Hi everybody, uh, uh, this is Jawahar Alvi Juhi back again. Um, and uh, again, I'm going to introduce myself. My, I am the clinical director for BASIS, Behavior and Special Educational Services International. Um, we are, I'm a board certified behavior analyst. I have a master's um, in English as well as I have a master's in special education. Um, I am a learning behavior analyst. Uh, by, with the state of Illinois and then I am also a board certified behavior analyst a BCBA I am also certified in early intervention services in the state of Illinois um, I have traveled globally and I have worked globally uh, in Dubai uh, in Kuwait in Bahrain uh, and I am currently working also in Pakistan as well as I am working in Chicago. In Chicago we have a clinical setting which is providing in-home ABA services to children with autism. Uh, we also provide IEP consultation uh, to children uh, with autism and we do a lot of advocacy for our clients. Currently I'm enrolled in my PhD program um, in ABA at the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. I am also a member of um, the Illinois Association for Behavior Analysts and I am a committee member for um, the Legislative Committee and we are actively fighting for our bills um, and I am actively a member of that committee. Uh, with that being said, um, as we all know that this is a very hard time for us um, and we are in a stage, so currently we are in a very, very difficult situation uh, where we are fighting a pandemic uh, and in this situation um, we have a lot of responsibility. Our kids are at home and so are our adults as a result of which um, we have a lot of responsibility on ourselves and this responsibility makes us um, do more work uh, and this work is supposed to be done at home with our children uh, along with our families side by side. Uh, the purpose that I've started this blog is to introduce you guys to activities um, and to hook you up to different kind of um, uh, you know services that are available free of cost on the on the internet um, so that you guys can keep busy and you can keep your kids busy uh, in a functional manner so the topic that I have brought today um, is is a very um, light topic uh, it's nothing that is very um, hardcore uh, but it's it's related to um, uh, some of the educational things that uh, we are doing in our kindergarten classes um, and it's a very famous book the name of the book is brown bear brown bear what do you see so I'm going to read this book and after I read this book I am going to go over um, you know a couple of activities that you can do with your children um, and you know and I will attach those materials and that website from where I got all these materials along with this video so that you guys are able to um, you know work with your children um, and you are able to provide you know this to the children um, and do those activities uh, with the kids okay so this is a very very famous book uh, brown bear brown bear what do you see? This book is by Bill Martin Jr. and the pictures are done by Eric Carle. So a very, very famous book that we read a lot over here in the preschool. Um, and it says, Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yes, 
yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a green frog, a black sheep, a goldfish, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a purple cat, a white dog, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we all see. The end. And I'm going to put this book right there for you in the link so that you guys can download this PDF. So this is a really cool book to do with your kids. And other than that, I have a couple of activities that I took from the website. Um, and I'll share the link of the website with you. And you can do a really cool matching activity with the kids, which is color matching. So you can download this board and you can actually come up with these animals and you can match the brown bear with the brown dot. The black sheep with the black dot. The green frog with the green dot and the goldfish with the gold dot, right? And I, I, the colors are not really clear over here because it's nighttime but this is something that you can do it's an animal color match so you're doing two things at the same time you're doing matching color to color and you're doing tacting uh, of the animals right so it's also reading comprehension because everything that the kids read in the book you're talking about those in this board over here another activity that you can do is to do with your mathematic with the maths and you know what you could do is you could take bears the small counter bears that you can get from Amazon and you can make the child uh, you know road count them and then you can have them quantify them and see I see one bear I see two bears I see three bears and so on and so forth and the child can learn counting by using these counters right over here so these are really nice two neat activities that the child can do with you um, i think this was a really neat way of you know involving your child um, in stories um, and doing like matching activities counting activities reading comprehension activities so i think that there is also another thing that you guys can do which is you can take all of these cards um, that you had made of the animals and I really like to do this because that builds a lot of social skills in my kids um, and that is that I like to play a game of charades with my kids so I like to sit with them and I put all the cards upside down like this 
and I'm sitting here and the kids are sitting on the other side so I make a circle of three or four kids and then I'm like hey come on guys let's play role play let's do a game of charades and then I tell them hey let's pick this up so oh my goodness look I am a fish how does a fish go hmm and so I show them you know I act like a fish and then I ask the other kid to pick it up oh Johnny look what did you get you got a sheep can you act like a sheep for me so this is another good activity that you could do with these animal figures and that's how you can build some joint attention in the children and you can build some social communication going on over there some eye contact going on over there and also some social skills so these are some activities that you can do with the children i hope that you enjoyed this video um, you know, I'll keep on coming up with different ideas for you guys to do at home. I'll share the link uh, at the end of this video. Uh, please, um, you know, send me some messages to see if there are other things that you guys would like to work with um, and include these things in your day to day stuff um, and have a very nice day. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and I will see you guys later.